a near-record-breaking supermassive black hole has been spotted lurking in almost complete isolation around 4 million light-years from Earth. Scientists have discovered the rebel of black holes, a supermassive black hole weighing 17 billion suns, lurking in a part of the cosmos where such entities are rarely observed. The largest supermassive black holes are typically found at the center of large galaxies in areas of the universe with other closely neighboring galaxies. What makes this new discovery so unusual is it was found at the center of a galaxy in a sparse area of the universe, located 200 million light years from Earth, according to NASA. The largest known black hole weighs 21 billion suns and is located in the Coma Galaxy Cluster an area that is home to more than 1,000 galaxies, according to NASA. The observations made by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and the Gemini Telescope in Hawaii have led astronomers to believe there could be more black holes also located in lesser populated areas of the universe. The newly discovered black hole is located in NGC 1600, an elliptical galaxy grouped with about just 20 or so other galaxies making it a sparsely populated area, by astronomical standards. The black hole's size is also a mystery. One theory is it may be the product of a merger between two black holes, occurring when two galaxies collide and give birth to a larger black hole. It's a bit like finding a skyscraper in a Kansas sweet field, rather than in Manhattan, says Chung Pei Ma of the University of California Berkeley and study co-author. So how did the Hermit black hole grow so large? It also seemed to thin out stars in its galaxy's center, but not by guzzling them. When two black holes spiral around each other as they slowly but inexorably are drawn to an explosive merger, they can slingshot stars out of the way. And given there are far more small or average-sized galaxy groups than super-crowded regions such as the Coma Cluster, it follows that there may well be more lonely monster black holes out there too. So the question now is, is this the tip of an iceberg? Ma says. Maybe there are a lot more monster black holes out there that don't live in a skyscraper in Manhattan, but in a tall building somewhere in the Midwestern Plains.